Last week, a ghost of my past came to haunt me. Kevin Owens, we meet again. Kevin came out there, beat me up, powerbombed me on the apron. I'm still feeling it. Kevin did all this because he believes I'm the reason he's not champion. He believes I'm the reason he's not being paid the big box. He believes I'm holding him down. He thinks I purposely put him in the elimination chamber and made him lose his championship within a week. He thinks I'm the reason he didn't win the Royal Rumble. Well, guess what? He's absolutely right. But here's the thing. Kevin Owens embarrassed me. He humiliated me. He took my moment. He took the moment away from all of us. I did this because I wanted to save WSC from Joker John Moxley. And when I got that championship, I, I felt it. I did this for all the fans, all the people who believed in me, who wanted me to succeed here, because this has always been my dream. I've always wanted to step in that ring and compete and be successful at the highest level. And I managed to beat one of the greatest champions of all time in John Moxley. And then Kevin Owens, he takes that moment away from me. I lose the championship in mere seconds. I let everyone down and I cannot have that. I needed to prove myself again and it's not my fault that Kevin Owens could not get the job done when it comes to the big matches. That's on him. You see, I was a fan. Kevin, I met you when I was 14. You were the nicest wrestler I'd ever met, or so I thought. You want to attack me out of the blue? Want to take this away from me again? All you had to do was ask. Because I'm open for business. Anyone who wants this can come get it. Right now what's about to happen is I'm about to go out there and I'm going to show Kevin Owens what WSC is all about. This is my world. There are no rules. It's just me and you. And when it's all over, I will still be the hardcore champion. I'm going to die trying. And to this man, that might just be what he's hoping for. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most dangerous competitors in this industry that I have seen in my entire life. And I know damn well that he's been waiting for this opportunity to get the creator one-on-one -on -one in a match. The person that he blames for not having enough money to feed his family as we await the champion. It's three. And as you can see, the stage creator isn't wasting any time. He's not here to play around. He's here to whoop some serious ass. As this rivalry has now become personal, how would you feel if your idol came and tried to take everything away from you as these two are now going at it, blow for blow, pound for pound? The stage creator is out for revenge and Kevin Owens is out to prove himself. And now these stiff shots to the back as the creator is forced to go one-on-one -on -one with the man he idolized as a young 14-year-old kid. But now, he's looking to get revenge for what happened to him last time we've seen this. But Kevin Owens, he's not going to let that happen. But stage creator is going to try anyway. But no, Kevin Owens escaped. And there's the super kick right to the jaw. And now you know Kevin Owens. He just opened the door to opportunity to do the exact same thing that brought them both here in the first place. And the Rana as a reversal allows the stage creator to escape that predicament. Head first into the post. And now, the creator, he's been waiting for this. Oh my god, the spear through the barricade! And you can see it in the eyes of the champion. He's not here to mess around with this kind of stakes. The stage creator has fought tooth and nail to come here and compete in the middle of the ring. But as you can see, the damage is still there as Kevin Owens hits the stunner. The damage to the lower back of the stage creator after Kevin Owens powerbombed him on the apron still lingers in the body of this young man. 
But now, Kevin Owens sees the opportunity. He's going to try one last time. But the creator is fighting out of it. Tooth and nail. He managed to get out. Managed to escape. Kevin Owens is stunned. What's the creator thinking? He's going to go for the steal. Nay, no! Oh, my God, no! Oh, my God, no! This has been something that's been plaguing his life ever since he was born. The Venus malformation on the right knee. But now Kevin Owens, yeah, he's like a shark that spills blood as he's going in for the kill. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, get him away. Jesus. Kevin Owens asking if it hurt. As Kevin Owens is now exploiting the weakness of the creator, the champion is down. Oh my God. That was completely and utterly disgusting to look at as Kevin Owens is showing no remorse here in this championship bout. Ladies and gentlemen, I know Nathan. He's my friend and he's been pretty open to me about the fact that he was born with this malformation on his right knee. He's told me how he was younger. He would wake up in the morning panicking because he couldn't walk. He couldn't stand on his own two feet just like Kevin Owens isn't planning on letting him stand on his own two feet as he's using that chair as a battering ram. Oh my God, get him away from him. Somebody stop this. Oh my God. Kevin Owens showing that he is not above exploiting a disabled man just for his own sick personal gain as he repeats the same offense to the champion. Power bomb onto the hardest part of the ring, the lower back crashing onto that unforgiving steel and wood as Kevin Owens is now adding insult to injury. Symbolically, making the greatest weak point of the stage creator. Just that. The referee checking on this, this young man, this Kevin Owens, this disgusting brute, is now looking to add some more damage to that already injured knee. As he's climbing to the top, what the hell is Kevin Owens thinking? Don't understand the end, there goes Kevin Owens! through the announce table. Oh my God, I have never seen anyone crash that hard onto the, t onto the announce table right in front of me. And Kevin Owens is also busted open. This could be the chance that the creator needs to capitalize. But I don't know if he can really, I don't know, I don't know if he can really do it. Because look at him, he can barely stand by himself. Oh my God, people, I don't. Yeah, yeah, come on, cover him. Cover him, Nathan. This is over. Come on, let's do it. Two. Kevin Owens gets the shoulder up. And now, people, I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to stay as professional as I can, but this is my friend. I, I am a concerned friend here watching my buddy as he begins to doubt himself. Was all this really worth it? Yes. Yes, as you can see, Nathan, there's your people. They want you to get up. They want you to win for them. Come on, this is me. This is Daddy talking to you now. Get up. That's right. Come on. You can do it. Just get him up. Pin him. Pin him again. And now stage creator. Trying to gain some kind of advantage here against Kevin Owens. Now look at this. No, try to go for the back. No, that wasn't the back su suplex. He tried to go for the creation of destruction there. But that knee. And lower back just won't let him as Kevin Owens won't let him breathe with that super kick from out of nowhere. And now Owens has the chair. Oh, God, please. I, no, no, please. Kevin, please, I'm begging you from here. Listen to me. Oh, my God, no. Oh, the repeated attacks to the knee with the unforgiving steel chair. Oh, my God, that's the biggest target in all of professional wrestling right there for the taking as Kevin Owens is like an unforgiving, relentless predator as he's using the edge of that chair to completely destroy the knee of Nathan. Oh my God, stop him. How much more can Nathan take? 
Here is your winner by TKO and new WSC Hardcore Champion, Kevin Owens! I cannot believe what I've just seen, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Owens absolutely showed no remorse, no second guessing from this man as he took what he wanted without any hesitation. The referee had to stop this match, and I don't blame him. The stage creator just wasn't giving up. After all that punishment, he never tapped out or said I quit or nothing. He persevered to the end, but enough had to be enough. The ref had to stop this match to save Nathan from himself. And honestly, good on him. Now the ref, no, you're Ke Kevin, no. Kevin, please stop. No! And again, how is it not enough for you, Kevin? What? Wait, you're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. My eyes do not deceive me. As Rollins, Reigns, and Ambrose slash Moxley, whatever you wanna call them, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the shield have now been unleashed in the WSC. The Hounds of Justice are now surrounding the ring and Kevin Owens still holds that chair. It may be an equalizer, but this is the shield we're talking about. Kevin Owens begging them on, begging them on to get into the ring and get some of this steel chair. And now, wait a second, Seth Rollins grabs the chair and there's Roman Reigns with the Superman punch and there goes the Hounds of Justice mauling their prey here. And you know damn well that I'm having a huge smile on my face watching as this happens. Kevin Owens is now face to face with true justice as they're getting ready for the infamous triple power bomb. Kevin Owens goes up and he must come down onto the announce table. Turns the new champion inside out as the shield lay waste to a piece of garbage. Reigns rallying up the troops as I'm getting ready to check on Nathan. But as of now, the biggest talk of the town is how the Shield have made their triumphant return to the WSC. The landscape of WSC has drastically changed. Moxley, Rollins, Reigns, all united. The Hounds of Justice have been unleashed in WSC. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Leave a like and subscribe. I have been Danny Meltzer, and I'll see you next time on WSC.